Hey guys, um, so I promised in my previous video that I will be making a little video about how I do the Benjamin Franklin technique for decision making uh, following my rule number one. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the rule on PowerPoint and I'm going to explain it a little bit. So that's rule number one to always check the upside and the downside. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to be going right into the well, showing you with the live video of how I do it on an actual sheet. The sheet is ready. Let's go to the rule and then we'll come back to the sheet and see what we're going to do. Bye. OK, guys, so we are looking at the AUD USD trade idea that was released uh, today. Um, we did call this one out earlier in the week as well, based on this channel here and based on this bearish pin bar that we have here and reversal candle. Um, so that's let's let's start listing down the reasons. What I'm going to do is um, put this little dots wherever we have selling reasons and wherever we have buying reasons. So the first, I'm going to have to put two here because we have two candlestick patterns. The first one is the pin bar, which is right here. And the second one is the double candle reversal. So that means price went up, closed in the green, made a new high the next day, but closed in the red. So I'm going to count it as one, but uh, it's two different uh, patterns. And then we have the trend line. So I'm going to stick an arrow next to it, trend line, um, channel basically. And now when we go down to the four hour chart, we get the other thing, which is a head and shoulders pattern. Um, let's do that now. Where is that? Where are you? Uh, there, 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 here. Okay, so head and shoulders. So we start from here, boom, left shoulder. We go down here, got the head, got the right shoulder, boom, and then we get the neckline as well, right? So now we have the neckline here, we're selling towards the neckline, so head and shoulders. Now, um, we have X, two pin bars, X1 channel, right? X1 head and shoulders right then when we go over to a shorter chart frame let's go to a one hour now i'm doing this quicker because i've already done it uh you'll, you'll probably need some time when you're doing it then we have this trend line here which is supporting a bullish move to the upside boom gets broken right gets destroyed right there and that's when we start compounding so we took a sell up here started going down messing about messing about boom came out and we start compounding so X1 short term uh, trend line. STT. Now, we have buying reasons. What are the buying reasons? We have the first one that I can see is this support level here. Okay? So, X1 support level. It's a minor support level. It is on an hour chart, but it did do its magic once, twice, three times all in less than a month's time actually two days <laughs> in two days what am i saying uh okay so in two days then we have the price price also using this level as a support so this level is dangerous but if it gets broken we get more reasons to to continue buying uh, sorry selling the next level here profit area one profit area two is the neckline not many reasons to sell this one but, for example, you could add the negative stuff that you could add is fundamentals, Trump, Trump, fundamentals can go, can go against you. So this is where most people go wrong. They see a head and shoulders and they're like, oh, my God, it's going to come crashing down for months. I'm going to become a millionaire. Doesn't work like that, buddy. Does not work like that in any, any way. The way it works is price will reverse somewhere. Uh, everybody sees only the profit area. They don't see, they only say, hey, it's going down here and it's going to go down forever and I'm going to become a millionaire in this trade and yeah, I'm going to go buy a fucking Lamborghini. Um, but it doesn't work like that. So price could reverse at this level, 
go back up, take me totally out of my gains. My mind's going to start panicking. Oh my God, it's a fake head and shoulders. It's not going to work out. It's going to come retest this area again because it could. It definitely could come out retest this area again. You have to keep that in mind. That's why we check the upside and the downside. So we have the first support level, the second support level, the neckline, then this level here. All of these levels must be mapped out. There's one more here. See that? You need to have these levels in place and then you need to watch your trade idea or put alarm bells if you're at work so when price action starts approaching this level, you'll get a little notification on your phone. Broom, broom. Hey, buddy, there's something going on with your trade. You open up your chart and you say, okay, maybe I should get out. Okay, the last thing you want to do is turn a $100 profit into a $50 loss. It's the worst thing that can happen to you. So what we do is we monitor. Now, the good thing with CTrader, I'm sure MT4 has it too, I just don't trade with MT4, is that I can put an alarm bell here and I can put an alarm bell, uh, alarm bell on top, right? I can also use um, advanced protection to move my stop loss into profit or to have multiple profit levels. On CTrader, you can do that. So if I have one lot sell, I can close out half of my lot here, another 25% here, another 25% here. That way I get to profit out. It's a smart way of trading. Most people, they'll just target the bottom side here, but you can't do that. So you need to check the upside and the downside, not only when you're getting in, but while you're in the trade idea as well. That's the most important thing. You need to map out all the levels that can, that can hurt your trade idea because they can, and believe me, they will. And then create a plan of what you're going to do. Put your alarm bells on. Look, trading is not a set and forget thing. It's not just open a sell trade on a head and shoulders and you're going to make money. It doesn't work like that. You need to be organized. What I teach is planned and organized trading. I see seriously improved my game over the last two, three months. I spent time analyzing myself first. This is the first thing I did. I spent time analyzing myself. Once I found my own problems, my weaknesses, the things I need to replace and change, I created something really powerful and it's going really well for me. I just wish I had more money to trade with, but don't we all? Um, but yeah, you know what? Um, that's the whole point. We come here so we can make more money. That's the whole point. I guess you guys understood what I'm trying to say here. It's very important to understand the ups and the downs. Um, then when you've finished with that, you can take the, the other levels. Look at this. So this is a resistance level. You can clearly see it. Be, it, it acts all the way from here. And then here, and then here, and here, and here, here. It's all over the place. So it could go up and then come back down. We don't know. That's the thing. That's why we need a plan of protection, a plan of profit. The goal is profit. The goal is not... I'm going to be right every time I open a trade. Reality is understanding that you will make mistakes. That's why the rules are simple. Always check the upside and the downside potential of each trade. But remember, it's not only when you're entering. It's when you enter and way after it. You need to have your profit levels. You need to know where you're getting out. You need to know where you're getting in. You need to know where you can compound. For example, if this level gets broken, is it smart for me to add on one more sell trade? Sure, it is, but the next support level is pretty close, even though price action will probably ignore this one. But here it is. So yeah, I could compound right after this. Anyway, you can see price action uh, resisting here a little bit. Uh, this candle has been open for already 28 minutes, and it's barely moved. You can clearly see that, and I need you to see that. This is an hour candle, and you can see here on the right, right here, 32 minutes left, and it's moved nothing. So it could reverse here. This is what I'm trying to teach you. Maybe it's a good time to get out. Maybe it's not. That's for the market to decide. Anyway, let's go over the Benjamin Franklin on a sheet of paper and end this educational video. Okay, guys. So here's my trade so far. $96 profit. Um, going well. AUD USD compounded. Euro AUD uh, buy and AUD USD sell compounding. That's one, and that's the other. There they are. There's my charts. Um, so let's go over the sheet. There's the sheet. Um, so basically what I would do here is I would grab a pen and a paper and write, put a line down the middle and do this, buy, and then sell. And then you list the reasons down to buy, sell. Okay, whatever you have more, 
you'll slowly start understanding of what is better to do for your trade. And you should do this while you're, while you're managing the trade. The trade's open, okay? Do I hold or do I close? Very important. Okay, these are the reasons. Okay, it should continue going down. Okay, this is the reason why I should close. Do I hold or do I close? If I have more reasons to hold, I hold. I come back to it later again. What's going on? Do I hold? Do I close? You can do this. It takes a few minutes. Look, guys, you, you, everybody, wants to be, everybody wants to be successful in trading. Let's go to the mirror here so you can see me. Everybody wants to be successful in trading. Everybody wants to. But not everybody wants to actually do the work. The work, that's where the money is in. Where you do your analysis, where you manage your trades, this is how you're going to make it as a trader. And that's what I teach. You want to make money as a trader? Keep watching me. Keep following Pips Matter. And I guarantee you one thing. Satisfaction and two, profitability. Follow me and you'll make money. I guarantee it. <laughs>